part C of question 3 of the January 2021 CSEC Mathematics paper. It says the letter A and a point C located at 6, 6 are shown on the grid below. Okay. On the diagram, draw accurately each of the following transformations. So you're going to draw 1. The enlargement of A by a scale factor 2 about the center 6, 6 at C, 6, 6. And then the translation of letter A using the vector T, negative 3, 2 as a column vector. All right. Let us copy the graph here and put it over our other screen. We had this from before. All right, so here we are. What I'm going to do is increase the size just a bit. Okay, so what they say is the enlargement of A by a scale factor 2 about the center 6, 6. Let's see how that would work now. Now, you're looking at an enlargement. This is the center. What you do, you draw a line from the center of enlargement to one corner or vertex one part of the object here this is another line uh, let's see I have a line through this point all right and then one through this point let me draw a line through that point and one line through the left of the foot of A we have lines through the right of the foot of A already now enlargement 2 this is the center of enlargement but we need an enlargement of 2, all right, of scale factor 2. What that means is from this point to the top of A. When you are going to put down your new, your, your, your image for the enlargement of A, you're going to go here and then through it again all right one more time so from the center of enlargement to the larger object is going to be twice from the center of enlargement to the original object all right now you can see that this line was from 6 6 through 4 4 if you do that again continue at the same length because remember it goes from through one diagonal of a square then another diagonal of a square so there are two diagonals you need a total of four diagonals now so two more one diagonal two diagonals so the top of A will be at 2, 2. Alright? So let's put that point right there. The top of A will be at 2, 2. Right here. Alright? Right at that point. Now, from the center of enlargement, here 
the left of this line is how much? If you go one, two, and then about a half way, and then go down one, two, close to three. If you go one, two, and then about halfway, and then one, two, close to three, you will see that that corner is somewhere about here. You could use a ruler to find the exact measurement of the line, or, well, not really the exact measurement, to estimate the measurement of the line. But right now, we're not using a ruler at this time. So, here, what we're doing is say, if you go, let me do that again. If you go one, two to the left, one, two down. Oh, we did that already. We did the top of A already. We're looking at right here. You would have to go one, two to the left and about halfway. So that's two and a half to the left. And then one, two, three, four down. You do it again. You already have your half here. And one, two to the left. Then you need one, two, three, four down. So that part of A is going to be right there. It's going to be at one negative um, point eight or something. So let's see how it works. So it's at one negative point eight is about here. Now, as for this part of the of A, hope you see what I'm doing. You go this way one time. Equal distance again, make it twice. We don't have a ruler here, so let's use the graph paper. From here you go one, two, three down, one, one and a half to the left. Do it again. Right? When you do that again, you have to go one, two, three down and one and a half or so to the left. Alright? Let's see how it goes again. This is the this is where we want to identify. If you go one, two, three down, one and a half to the left. And you go one, two. It says from this point, let's go six down then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here, what was this again? One, two, two and a half to the left, one, two, three down. This goes two and a half to the left, one, two, three down. It should have been here, you know. Made a mistake there. That point should have been here. So let me put it there. Alright? I just realized it. When I was plotting the other one, they should line up. So the other point would be right here so you see this is going to come here and this is going to end up here now as for this the left part of the foot how far is it from c6 using a ruler you can get it easily but we don't have a ruler so one two well we do have a ruler it's a graph paper one two three to the left one two three four down let's do it again one two three to the left one two three four down right here 
we can see just by counting the squares see that we end up at negative 2 here and then finally one more point we do from here 1 2 3 4 down 1 to the left do it again 1 2 3 4 down 1 2 to the left oh yeah 1 2 3 4 down 1 to the left in other words if we go 1 2 3 4 down uh, 1 to the left to locate the object we'll have to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 a total of 8 which is twice remember the enlargement must have a scale factor of 2 so the distance from the center of enlargement to the image the, the new the re, to the reflection must be two times the distance from the center of enlargement to the original object because the scale factor is two all right so here again one two three four down one to the left if we go one two three four five six seven eight down one two to the left it was four down one to the left now it's eight down two to the left so right here you have the next point so what does our new a look like that is our new a all right so hope you understood what was going on and then the translation of a using this vector negative 3 2 the vector t so t oh no what's going on let me i have some technical issues here let me try and repair that okay seem to have been resolved now what was the translation vector again negative 3 2 now look at this c is at 6 6 then you have negative 3 2 if you add them 6 plus negative 3 6 minus 3 is 3 6 plus 2 is 8 you should end up at 3 8 all right oh let me look back at it oh oh my my error i was translating the center of enlargement here this belongs to the previous work so let's erase it let's just erase the board and deal with the part of the work that we have to deal with so again the translation vector is negative 3 2 oh it says to draw not calculate all right that's another thing i was calculating we're going to draw it but i will show you by calculation as well how it works negative 3 2 here negative 3 2 is t the translation vector t called negative 3 2 what this means is that all points will move three places to the left and two up. So, one, two, three to the left, one, two up. The top of A will go right there. All right? Now here, this part will go one, Two, three places to the left. Remember, it's it was it started at halfway um, between the, the dark lines. All right, it wouldn't be three. So about three and a half. 
when you look at the x-axis here. So negative 3, 2. You go 1, 2, 3 place to the left and 1, 2 up. So it will end up right there. All right. What about the next corner? You go 1, 2, 3 to the left and 1, 2 up. Good. And then here you have 2. This would be 3. But anyway, this goes 1, 2, 3 to the left and 1, 2 up. So that corner will be there. And this one goes 1, 2, 3 to the left, 1, 2 up. So you can see here that that will be your new A. Alright? Now, if you were to calculate it, for example, this, the top of A is right here at 4, 4. You would have to say 4, 4, as a vector col column, uh, or column matrix, I mean, plus negative 3, 2. What does that give you? 4 minus 3 is 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. It should end up at 1, 6. So here, what you find, this is 4, 4. Where does it end up? 1, 6. You can see it, all right? It has to go three places to the left and two up. Three places to the left, two up. And remember to the left because it's negative three. This is X, this is Y. You remember that, all right? And you can try with the other parts of A and you will see that they will match. If you add each coordinate, each pair of coordinates in the original A to negative 3, 2, you will get the coordinates of all four points for A. All right, so that is the end of question three. We look at question four in a different video. Oh, this is functions and relations. We'll look at that later on.